Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and today I'm doing a video that's gonna help out a lot of you boaters that take your boat out through the Hereford Inlet because right now it is a full moon. Well, not right now, obviously, it's daytime, but at night it is a full moon, a super full moon, which means during the day we have a super low tide. I was asked by a captain in Cape May if I could take my drone over the inlet so that we could see all the new sandbars a and b how deep the water is now before i get started make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up now as i make my way over to the inlet a few things you have to realize is that this inlet hasn't been dredged in at least eight nine years so naturally the sand just keeps on moving down the sand collects from Avalon and Stone Harbor and pulls all the way down into the inlet. And over time, islands start forming and they start forming closer and closer to North Wildwood to the point to where almost, I'm pretty sure if you let it go natural for many, many years, it could probably connect both islands. That's how big it has gotten. Today I was asked by a captain in Cape May who does a lot of rescues if I could go ahead and put the drone up at low tide because at that point you can see all the new sandbars, you can see any obstacles that would be underwater. And I just wanted to do it because you never know, there's a lot of shipwrecks off of the coast of Stone Harbor in Wildwood. It would be kind of cool if you would see something in this video. So we're going over to the inlet now, putting the drone up and we'll see what we can find. And one more thing, for those who do a lot of boating, you could definitely go back to this video and rewatch it and learn the new sandbars. That way you can avoid them when you take your boat out. So let's get the drone in the sky. So there you guys go. I didn't see any sunken ships. I hope 
uh, maybe if I missed anything, let me know. But it is insane on how much the sand has changed. I was I mentioned earlier in the video that the sand from Avalon Stone Harbor keeps coming down. You can see that hook that comes all the way down, which is formed by the currents. I can't believe how big it has gotten. Our friend PJ, who runs the North Wildwood Beaches, does a lot of cool videos and photos on Instagram about it. Make sure you check that out. But um, he goes ahead and puts a lot of diagrams about how it's changed throughout the years. And I have to be honest with you, this is the most change I have ever seen in the inlet. Once again, when you let Mother Nature do its thing, a lot of crazy stuff happens. I still think that one day it's going to be dredged again, but it looks like it's creeping closer and closer to North Wildwood. Now, I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey, and I'll see you guys on the beach. Bye.